Hi everybody, it's Kimberly Michelle here and I want to thank you so much for stopping by this channel. I'm excited today to show you this altar frame that I created. Most of the products that I used are from Canvas Corp brands, which includes Tattered Angels and Seven Gypsies and Canvas Corp. So my frame is a very simple black plastic frame that we found at a garage sale for just pennies. <laughs> And first thing I'm going to do is add a layer of gesso. And this is going to help my acrylic paint stick to this plastic frame. I apply just one layer of the gesso. And I'm going to jump ahead here so I don't bore you to death with this. So I'm going to use Tattered Angels High Impact Paint in Aqua. As you can tell, this is a gorgeous color and it is quickly become my favorite color of paint. And I'm going to apply one layer and then I let it dry naturally overnight. And then I came back and added a second layer. And it covered the black frame very well. So I wanted to give my frame a distressed look so I I'm going to apply some crackle medium and I loved how it turned out. So I'm going to do a, just a single layer of the crackle medium over the entire frame and let that dry completely. Then I'm going to use the Tattered Angels High Impact Paint in White and this worked with the crackle medium really well. I was very impressed with this. And I didn't cut much of this out. It is sped up so you can see the magic of the crackling happen happening. Now the key to this is to get your brush, sorry, loaded up with paint and put it on and don't go back over what you just painted. And this was my first time doing this process and it worked out really well for me. I really love the distressed look and how the tattered angels paint worked with the crackle medium. And as you can see here to the right, how it's starting to crackle. And I covered the entire frame with that. See how that turned out? Next, I wanted to add some interest and texture to my corners so it's more distressed looking. So in the corners, I'm going to use a matte liquid adhesive to apply some pearls and clear seed beads. And this doesn't distract from the character of the frame, but it adds some interest to it that I was very happy with. And I'm going to apply that to all the corners, as I said, except for the bottom left corner. I used a medium seed bead and a small seed bead. And as you can see here, I was very happy with that. Next, I did some watercoloring on the butterflies on ivory paper. And I used some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. All the mists that I used came from these kits here. And I primarily used Iris Baseboard Mist and, mist and Glimmer Mist and Tutti Frutti Lobster navy blue, turquoise blue, and again I used some more of the navy blue. And these are how my butterflies turned out. I don't want to bore you with the coloring. Once I painted those, I applied a crackle adhesive to those and let those dry. And I love how these turned out. So I wanted to give them uh, an in, a more antiqued look. So I applied a light brown ink over all of my butterflies and I love that look. Next, I'm gonna use this canvas flower from Canvas Corp in Natural. And I love the distressed look of this. And I didn't trim off any of my strings, I left them. And I used an antique gold key from Seven Gypsies. I'm going to place that in the center here in a little bit, but first, so it will kind of go with my frame. I'm going to again use that same matte liquid adhesive in the center 
and apply some pearls and the medium and mini seed beads to this. And it just gives it just some more texture and character, which I just love. And next I'm going to adhere my key. I'm going to use these tags from Canvas Corp and this little clothespin. And I already uh, used a border punch on the bottom of my tag. But I'm going to use a turquoise glimmer mist to stain my clothespin. And I love how that turned out. And then for my tag, I'm going to use Tutti Fruity and Nougat Glimmer Mist. And the nougat just kind of tones down the pink for me. I wanted it a softer pink. And you'll see here when it's dry. I loved how it turned out. Next, I'm gonna create the background for my frame and I'm gonna use the Vintage Signs Seven Gypsies paper for this. And I'm gonna trim that down and adhere it to some um, chipboard. And it will fit right into my frame. Next, I fussy cut these books out of paper that came in the Gypsy Moments uh, 7 Gypsy paper pack and I'm also going to use this sentiment from that same paper pack next I'm going to use the short, short base tiles to add some texture to my background I really love this product because you have the look of texture paste, but not the mess. And these are wonderful. They have multiple uses for them. So I'm gonna just put that to the side on the edge and up in the corner on the right to create some interest. I love the vintage look of it. So next, I'm gonna add my canvas flower to the bottom left here. I'm just using a really strong adhesive so it doesn't come off. This is gonna sit on my mantle, so I don't want anything to happen. And here's my finished tag. My idea with this is the clothespin is gonna be permanent on the background, but I can add old photos to that and change that out whenever I want. And then I'm going to add my butterflies and I just love how this all came together. And as soon as I get these put down, I'll show you what it looks like done. I really want to thank you for stopping by. And please leave us a comment and a like. And please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.